Hello, this is MakerJ101. I'd just like to give an update of our solar project. So we got the inverter, and it came with a um, DC disconnect, so that's nice. So this is the SMA3000 um, TLUS model. Um, so this is a Sunny Boy. Um, and this one is the kind that has the, um, the oh, what's it called, the emergency power supply, which it will just use the power directly coming from the panels when the grid is down. Um, and it will feed to a special outlet a maximum of um, 1,500 watts. So that's pretty nice. So first we'll look at the um, DC disconnect. So it's off right now. You have to have it off in order to open it. Um, so this basically just mounts right, there's a, this, this one bracket right here um, that actually screws onto the back of the inverter and then this um, actually attaches to that. So there's our DC disconnect. <coughs> so we've this um, inverter <coughs> has um, dual MPP tracking which means you can connect two different um, panels um, sets of panels up to it so we're going to have two different arrays um, one array is going to have um, two sets of nine panels connected in parallel so that will probably go to like the A channel and then we'll have another channel um, <clears throat> will be for our second array of seven panels so um, we can have two different voltages going into it. And MPP tracking, I don't remember exactly what that um, stands for, but basically what it does is the inverter decides how much power the panels can maximum can, produ or can produce, and depending on the amount of light that's on them, and it can adjust the voltage and the current that it's drawing from them to get the maximum amount of power from them. So it m maximizes the output. So now we'll just look at the inverter here. So the cover comes off there. And we've got our control panel here. And, well, it's pretty much just a display. It shows um, all kinds of different things. It shows errors and um, the different power outputs and voltages and things. Um, and then I think, I believe, actually, if you tap on it, um, it will actually switch between different modes. So here's actually where our um, power comes out for the... Um, emergency outlet so these two connections here I believe are for the switch to turn that on and off that function and then these are the ground um, hot and neutral and then here's our lines going out to the grid so we've got neutral line and line two and then there's our ground and here's actually the DC so we've got um, the black is probably the common and then one of these is for um, one set of panels for channel A and one is for channel B and that just goes straight into here. And then I also took this cover off. And these covers all are it's all die casted aluminum and it's got a very nice seal around there, so it's gonna be waterproof. Put this down over here. Alright, so here's the inside of it, the electronic side. We've got some nice big capacitors up there, 500 volt, or yes, 320 microfarads. Um, some other large capacitors over here. So it looks like the power comes in here, goes through a, um, a filter, and then these are current transformers, I believe, to see how much current's coming into it. And then these actually here look to me to be um, actually the semiconductors or the large transistors, some sort of power MOSFETs or something, are on the aluminum um, back because it's a giant heat sink, basically. Um, so those are probably connected to the heat sink there. And then these terminals here, or these screws, are actually to connect. Um, those probably go straight down into the um, transistor or whatever. Because this one actually, this is where the um, emergency power outlet connects up. So, and then these lines are probably going out to the, um, and then these are a bunch of relays here to switch it on and off. Or disconnect it from the grid, probably. Um, and this is probably... This also could be for going down to some sort of connection going down to the um, large transistors down there. Um, but yeah, it's actually very simple, or simple-ish looking. There's like not a lot of components actually, um, but it looks well built. It looks like it's coated with a um, a sealant to keep it waterproof in case a little bit of moisture gets in there. So that's good. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. So we have the inverter and we have the disconnect. And we have some other stuff here. Let me go around here. 
So we've got our other stuff too. Um, we still, there's a couple of things we still need, um, which that is the wire, that the DC wire that will connect to the panels and go down to the inverter. And we also need the, the grounding lugs. Um, so we need to order those, but we've got everything else, I think. So here's our um, brackets, which will go on the panels like that. So that will be nice. And then we've got the brackets for the ends, too. And then actually this is our, um, this is our, the, our utility wanted a, um, a utility accessible, lockable, um, DC, or AC disconnect. Um, if they ever wanted to disconnect us from the grid, um, they can just pull that out and turn it off. So, and this thing was like six dollars, that's why we bought it. <laughs> instead of like one with a handle on the side. That's normally what you see on solar projects, but those are like a hundred bucks. This was, this was uh, six dollars, so we bought that instead. Um, and then here's actually our, this is gonna be for our um, emergency outlet. So we've got a outlet cover, this is gonna be outside. Outlet and switch. Um, and then we've got other miscellaneous parts, stuff to mount the, um, the inverter to the wall. Um, or bolts for mounting the panels and everything down. And then we've got lots of um, conduit pieces and stuff like that. Um, zip tie to hold the, all the wiring down. So I think that's about it. That's pretty much everything. Um, then we've got some wire here. This is going to be for the outs from, because the, the um, inverter is going to be on the outside. This is going to be for the AC. Um, this will be, because you have, supposedly you have to have. Um, the outdoor rated wire um, outside. This stuff was really expensive though, but so we only bought enough to go from the inverter inside and then we're gonna have a junction box going to this normal indoor stuff. So um, yeah, it's a little bit of work around there because of the price, but um, that's about it. I think we've got everything except for those grounding lugs and the oh, and the grounding wire too. We still need to get that and the um, the DC cables and connectors. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.